I'm gonna show you how to take your games from this to this with Decky and the Vibrant Deck plugin. The first thing we need to do is go into our Steam menu, go into Settings, System, and you're going to enable Developer Mode. Then you're going to notice if you scroll all the way down in your Steam menu, you're going to have a new option called Developer. You go into those settings and you're going to enable CEF Remote Debugging. And it's going to prompt you to restart your system. Go ahead and do that. Once your system is restarted, you're going to go back in your Steam menu. Go to Power and we're going to switch over to desktop mode. Once you're in desktop mode, we're gonna to need to open up the terminal. So you're gonna go over to the application launcher, go into system, and console here is our terminal. In our terminal, we're going to need to set a password. If you haven't done that already, we're gonna open up our keyboard pressing Steam an X and we're gonna type in pass WD and hit enter and it's gonna say new password you're gonna type in your password there so I'll be right back okay it's gonna ask you to type in that new password twice and then it should say uh, password updated successfully one thing to note is that when you type in your password both times, nothing's gonna come up on the screen, like no letters or uh, stars or anything, but it is uh, recording your input. Then we're going to paste in this command for the Deki Loader Plugin Manager. And I will put that in the description for you to paste in. And then after that, we're just gonna hit enter It's going to ask you for your password that you just set. So I'm going to put that in. And then you can see here that it is loading the plugin. And then once it's done with that, we can switch back to gaming mode. And once you're back in gaming mode, if you press the three dots button on the right here, you'll see that you have a new option for plugins, and that is the Decky Plugin Manager. And if you click up here, it's going to load up the plugin store. If you scroll down, a couple down, you'll see Vibrant Deck, and that's the one that we would like to install. You're just going to install the current version. Then I'm going to load up Adventure Pals to show you how this plugin works. Um, if you want to buy this game, it's currently 10% off on the Humble Bundle store. I will leave my affiliate link in the description below. If you buy through my link, I just get a little kickback to help support the channel. Here we are in the Adventure Pals main menu. You can see it's a pretty colorful, vibrant game, so I thought this would be a good one to showcase um, the plugin on. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the menu for Vibrant Deck. You're gonna click on this little icon right here and we're gonna adjust the saturation. So it's defaults to 100. We're just gonna bump it up a little bit and see what happens. You can see that it just makes everything look way more colorful. So. 300 might be a little bit overkill, but maybe like 170, 175. Um, you can see that it just looks way nicer. Um, so I found that once I did this, I'm probably not going to go back to the regular saturation. Obviously, you can always revert it back to the original, but I just really like the way it looks like this. So. Thanks for watching. I subscribe, comment if you have any other ideas for videos or tutorials you'd like to see, and we'll see you on the next one.